Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kalika and you're gonna be nicer to call center reps after watching this video. How was I supposed to know that my credit card was a credit card? I'm an escalation supervisor for a major department store credit card. I have stories for days and days about the stupidity I deal with, but today was just quite a day and I wanted to share one from today. It's mild compared to everything else, but it still blows my mind. I'm tired, so sorry for any spelling or grammar mistakes, TLDR at the bottom. This customer was contacting us because we had upgraded her card from just being a store card to our co-branded American Express card. It is the exact same account except it can be used outside of our store, but it doesn't have to be. No different terms, extra fees, etc. It's also a chip card, while our basic card isn't. We do this about three times a year, send out two letters months before and then a third is a reminder of their opt-out deadline. Her deadline was October of 2018 and we are in June of 2019. For the record, I disagree with this. I think it should be a notification to opt in, but I'm not the decision maker. This conversation took place after I explained all of that. The prior 10 minutes was just a lot of screaming that I tuned out. The customer, named Karen. This is unconstitutional. It is illegal for you to sign me up for a credit card without my consent. I will sue. Good news, Miss Whatever. This was not a new credit application, nor was your credit pulled to make a decision. This decision was based on your fantastic history with us over the past 12 years with your credit card. I did not have a credit card with you. You turned my rewards card into a credit card, you idiot. How do you work for this company if you don't even understand? Well, ma'am, you receive statements each month and make monthly payments for us for the past 12 years. I can also see here that you requested a credit limit increase recently. I'm sorry for your confusion, but this is, and has been, a credit card for 12 years. A reward system would not have credit statements or a credit limit. Karen were their unintelligible screaming. How was I supposed to know? Did you fill out a credit card application, including your SSN, personal details, income information within one of our stores in 2007? F you. The customer slams the phone down, but the line is still active. I start my operator on the line disconnecting spiel after a minute when the store associate picks up the receiver. Uh, wow, I'm sorry about that. She just ran off after almost breaking our phone. I guess she is done with us. However much you guys get paid there, it isn't enough. Have a lovely night. What on earth did this lady think the card was? I'm a little baffled. <laughs> Crazy recycling lady. I work at a call center for a pizza company in Canada where I take all the pizza orders for the province and send them to the pizzeria. This one time, a woman in her late 40s, early 50s calls and wanted to place an order. The call began normal as I asked her for her phone number and her address for where her pizza was to be delivered. She gave me all her information and then began to give me her pizza order. Once she finished her order and I told her the price, she asked me if our pizza delivery driver could take her old pizza boxes from a previous order that she placed with us. It was very weird to me as I never had a customer ask for an odd request like this. I responded politely, saying that unfortunately we do not take back the pizza boxes and that she should just toss them in the recycling bin. She then proceeds to lecture me on how it is the company's responsibility to recycle her boxes as they are Canadian citizens. I told her once again that we don't accept them back and that she can just throw them out. I then placed her order and we ended the call. I really had the urge during that call to say to her that she too was responsible for recycling her waste as she too was a Canadian citizen, but that probably would have escalated the problem. A couple of minutes later, my co-worker received a call with the same lady. The lady began to explain the recycling situation again for 5 minutes to my co-worker. My co-worker repeated the same thing to her, saying that we don't take back the boxes, and the lady hung up the phone. The crazy lady called one last time enraged and demanded to speak to a manager or supervisor. I said there was no problem and then placed the call on hold for a supervisor. I warned my supervisor that the call was with a crazy customer. She picked up the call and argued with the customer for another 10 minutes on why we don't take back the pizza boxes. This lady was so crazy that even our pizza delivery driver of that specific store location never wanted to deliver anything to that crazy lady's house. She was obsessed with people taking her trash and recycling it for her. This was probably the oddest situation I have ever received during work. Okay, so there's two things here. First one, has she been keeping her old pizza boxes just inside her house somewhere, waiting for her chance to get someone to take them away for her? And two, 
You can't recycle pizza boxes to my knowledge, at least not where I'm from, because pizza boxes can be greasy and have food residue left in them, so they have to be thrown out. I don't know if this thing will work for me, but I want you to give it to me for free anyway. So about a year ago, I was working at a call center for an unnamed cable company. One morning, I got a call from a guy who had recently installed his cable and was interested in being able to view 4K content on his TV. He sounded European, like he was in his late 30s or early 40s. I told him I was happy to help him out, as you should, and took a look into his account to see what his options were. I informed him that in order for him to be able to watch 4K, he would need to upgrade his box as a special cable box was required to view 4K and he only has one of the standard ones that come with the basic setup. He asked me what he would need to do to get one, to which I politely informed him that I could initiate an order to have one set up for him, but it would cost $99 for the box itself and then another $99 to have someone come out to install it. He then asked me why I was making this so difficult and said he could just bring the old one to one of our stores and just swap it out for the new one and install it himself. I explained to him it's not that simple and that the box is a completely different box from the one he has and we couldn't simply swap out his old one for it. Also that someone would actually need to come out as the installation isn't as clear cut as plugging the old one out and putting the new one in. I could tell he was getting aggravated. He then claimed that when he set his device up they told him he could get the new boxes with free installation. I then told him that the new boxes and free installation only applied for the one time when he was initially getting the services as per the new service promotion where the company would waive some if not all charges for the boxes and installation and that if he wanted a free 4k box he should have specified that at the time as I'm certain they would have been willing to do that. He then said, so you're saying if I told him in the beginning that I wanted 4k they would have given it to me for free? I told him that's correct. He then started shouting, saying that's not fair and we took advantage of his ignorance and now we're forcing him to pay for it. He asked me if there's any other way he could get the box for free, which I calmly replied, unfortunately not. He then said that I should go and ask my supervisor to check whether or not he could get it for free and if not, he wanted to speak to her personally. I tell him to please hold and get a hold of my supervisor. I tell my supervisor the whole story and asked if she could get rid of this guy for me as I really hated these kinds of entitled customers that yell and complain in order to get free stuff instead of paying for it like everyone else. But instead, she then input a credit on the customer's account that would cover all the costs and told me to go ahead and proceed with the order, to which I told her that was a terrible idea as it's going to give him the impression that all he needs to do is make some noise to whoever is on the other end and will bend to his will, which is nothing but bad news for everyone involved. Regardless, I did what I was told as I wasn't getting paid enough to care what happens after he hangs up the phone. I informed the customer what my supervisor did for him and proceeded with the order. As I'm going through the process, he starts asking me about the 4K box itself, and I explained to him that he will be able to view 4K content once the box is hooked up to a compatible 4K TV. To which he replies, How would I know if my TV is compatible or not? I muted the phone and banged my head on the table after I heard that one. After going through all that trouble and getting this done, the guy didn't even know if he has an actual 4K TV that would make it work. Now I wouldn't go so far as to call this guy stupid, but he certainly isn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. I was so done with him at that point that I simply completed the order, scheduled a date for the technician to come out to install the cable box and told him to google the serial number on the TV to find out the specs. I only hope for his sake that his TV actually was 4K and that all this wasn't for nothing. Oh my god, I've had customers like this too, who make a whole lot of noise and then hit you with something that makes you just want to tear your own hair out. I think I've said this in all these call centre videos, that I used to work at a call centre for a bank, and I remember one call clearly where this woman came on shouting and screaming about her mortgage, and that we were making changes to it or she was getting charged for something. Now, the first thing I had to do was find this woman's account to take her through verification before I could discuss anything. She didn't have her mortgage account number, so I had three programs I could try to use to locate her. I was on the phone with this woman for about 15 or 20 minutes, trying everything possible and her screaming down the phone at me, when something just clicked in my head, and I said really really bluntly to her, who's your mortgage with? And that's when she said a different bank. I just sighed, told her that she called the wrong people and she doesn't have her mortgage with us. She sort of got embarrassed and then angry again and said she wanted compensation for me wasting her time. I laughed at her, I, I couldn't help myself and I just laughed. I told her that she phoned me and she isn't our customer so what on earth would I be compensating her for? 
Then she hung up and I took an early lunch. <laughs> Okay, so that's all for r slash Tales from Call Centers. I really hope you did enjoy it. As always, if you do want to see more content like this, then please do subscribe. My Twitter, Discord, and Patreon links are in the description, and any support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching.